Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some siding for a really, um, like, reasonable price. Okay, if you look at my siding here, I spray painted it with the nutmeg. Okay, and also if you notice, you don't see any splits in the wood here. Like none, you know, where you would join the wood. You don't see any of that. Okay, I'm going to show you what I did to get that. Okay, so the first thing I did is I took some poster board, ordinary poster board, and I spray painted it with the nutmeg color. And I'm using Rust-Oleum's 2 times um, spray paint, I think is what it's called. I'll have to look at it. I think I threw the bottle away, but it's the same as I used for the teal. Okay, after I spray painted it, I cut it in strips that are not longer, that aren't any longer than my cutting board. Okay, and then I'm going to line it right up with the one going down. And then Dad and I taped a piece of matte board here just so it gave us that even edge so it didn't kind of bend over a little bit a while ago. So I'm just going to keep that there. Okay. And that's all I did for the siding. I made a whole bunch of it. They're one inch thick. Okay. Now, sometimes you might have to sand it. Now, I was getting to the end of the um, spray paint on some of these, and I can see that I have little spots on there where it was starting to spit out. So those ones you want to throw away or sand it and then start over. But for the most part, you get a pretty good finish on that. Okay, and then what you want to do is when you're putting it on your house, you want to put it down at the one inch mark like that and then at half inch you want to go and lay your next piece. And then you will have your siding. Really cheap, easy way. I think the poster board's like 50 cent at Dollar Tree. Um, I've gotten all of these out of there, plus I have a whole nother thing to do. So, I mean, for a budget, this works great. And it's also thin enough. It's actually a little thicker than the Beacon Hill um, siding that is wood. Okay, so as far as the front of the house where I showed you that you don't see the wood joining, basically what you're going to do is, and as you can see, they're pretty even all the way down. Um, basically, sorry, I didn't mean to get sidetracked. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to say this is the two joints and this has two rough edges. So you would take your poster board that you spray paint it and you would bend it just like that. And then you would have a seam. By the time you put your wood and everything on it, you don't even notice that it's paper. Okay, so if you're doing something long like this, along a whole siding of or side of a house, you see how you have this and you can see the notches and everything in there? If this was a bay window and it was going to be flat like the other one, you wouldn't want to see that where the seams joined. So that's when this technique would come in handy. Now, I did take the um, a rough piece of wood and I just kind of flattened it which kind of chipped it up so don't use wood to do that but you get the point it hides that edge and then you could put your siding right over top of it and then you wouldn't see that corner of your dollhouse
around the window. You could also use corner trim. But on a base of a window, like a bay window, it's kind of hard to fit that corner trim in there. So this just gives you another option. Just to kind of smooth out that edge. And when it's on there, you can't even tell that it's paper, to be honest. As you can see, that's the bay window that I'm talking about. And I did the same exact thing to this bay window. You can do that in areas where you can't do the um, siding very well either. So like if you didn't want to cut all these little individual pieces, you could do the siding there as a strip as well because you're really not seeing it. But that's basically it for a DIY siding. I hope this tutorial was helpful and hopefully it'll save you some money. You can also use um, like comic strip board if you have that and then they would automatically be one size. You wouldn't have to worry about cutting the length of it. You would only have to worry about cutting the individual pieces. Or you could use cereal box. So. A cereal box isn't going to be quite as thick as the poster board or the comic board, but you could use that as well. This is the comic board. I'm just going to show you how it cuts real quick. Cuts the same. Comic board is a little bit thicker. Okay, so that's the comic board. So it's about half the thickness of the comic board. Either or works. I do not have a piece of the Beacon Hill siding left to measure that for you, but I wanna say that this is actually a little thicker than the siding that came with it because it was super thin and it kept wanting to bend when we were painting it and it bowed, we had to iron them flat. I think there's some videos on that as well. So if you're having problems with your siding that you have with the kit, there is tutorials on that um, that you can look at how we fixed it because ours was doing the same thing. With this, if you do thin layers of the paint, it doesn't bow. I didn't have any issues with it at all. I just put, a, um, like a can on the end to hold it down, to weigh it down, and then um, you could clamp it or whatever you wanted to do. But that would work, and then this also works. Because this is, like I said, this is a little thicker. But either one. Alright, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and again, this is the cheapest way to go. These you can buy on Amazon. They're a little bit more expensive. I don't remember what I paid for it. I want to say it was something like 20 bucks for so many of them. Maybe 25 or something. I can't remember. Maybe 50. I don't know. It was a couple years ago I bought it. But um, anyhow, like I said, the poster board at Dollar Tree is the cheapest way to go. And I will see you next time. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. And have a wonderful, wonderful day.